My name is Pat Eckland, and I serve as a city council member in the city of Novato, and I also represent the 11 cities in Brand on the back executive board. And I wanted to first thank you for having these sessions. I've attended almost every technical committee meeting and steering committee uh, that you've had, except the time when I broke my femur. And um, I was incapacitated for a couple of months. Um, but I've learned a lot. I've really learned a lot. But I still remain very, very concerned. The comment was made earlier that one size doesn't fit all. Local governments have been saying that for a long time. One city is not like all cities. Um, and I'll just give you two examples. A comment was mentioned today that, well, we're thinking about trying to get an exemption for 20 units, no sequel or anything, and just goes right on. True, 20 units to a small town of 5,000 people is huge. 20 units for a million people in some of the big cities is quite different. Um, the other comment that I've made to this group before is the funding for local governments. That is also not evenly distributed. Novato is a poor property tax city. We get six cents on every dollar of property tax that's paid. Another city in our county, San Anselmo, gets 23 cents on the dollar. Mill Valley, gets 26 cents on the dollar. So for us to be able to provide services at six cents a dollar of property tax is very different. So not all cities are the same. And I imagine not all counties are the same either, I've, even though I haven't had that particular experience. So I'm uh, very concerned that this compact treats all local governments the same. I haven't seen any distinction yet. Um, Julie mentioned that um, there should be a discussion on regional profit for developers. I couldn't agree with her more. That's the elephant in the room relative to the cost of housing. And the other comment was made is that well, local governments are going to be required to do a study on how to reduce the cost of housing. Frankly, I think that requirement should be done by developers <laughs> because developers would have a better understanding of where the, the cost can be uh, reduced, and maybe it's a, it's a joint effort. Um, the cities or the counties look at their side and the developers look at their side, but um, just re automatically requiring some of these things is, I think, not appropriate. My last comment is that um, the other elephant in the room is related to Prop 13. When your house changes ownership, it gets reassessed. New property tax is level is established. That's not true with commercial buildings. Not necessarily, it depends on how it was transferred. That's the elephant of the room, the poison pill that really needs to have some discussion. The league tried to take that on when I was president of the league in 2004, 2005, when we did Prop 1A, but we wanted it to pass, so we didn't touch it. Last comment is that when you talk about a regional entity that we overseeing this thing, don't forget there's still AVAG. There's still the Council of Governments that does a lot of the work that um, you mentioned in the regional entity. And sure, we're going to be combining the governing boards or having that discussion, but AVAG is hopefully not going to go away. The Council of Governments is not going to go away. That's what brings all 101 cities and nine counties together. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Stuart, I'll give you the last.